Peter Alfredo Sauce here. And welcome back to another Fireside Chat. It seems you guys are loving this. Are you? Leave us a comment on our YouTube channel. Well, what are we going to be talking about today, Blenda? Some stuff? really important things. Really important. What? Sicilian liquor. Oh, we're going to talk about the... <laughs> We're going to talk about some of the liqueurs of the holiday season. Is that what you're telling me? Well, anytime. And also, we're going to talk about these. Pieces. Okay. Well, let me get started over here. I can run through just some of them. Of course, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But, you know, which are the most popular in Sicily? And one of them is a type of a bitter called Amato. Amata Vanna. It's made from uh, herbs. And it's a digestive. And every region in Italy has their own. I prefer um, Amata Vanna because it's Sicilian made, and uh, it's you drink it, it, you take that, and you drink it. Just kidding. Out of a small glass like this, you don't drink, you know, a big glass of it. You, it's pre the preferred method, I believe, is chilled. I like it chilled. You can put it over ice. And usually or, after dinner. After dinner, and it basically uh, kind of like cleanses your palate a bit, and uh, it's very good. Now the second one, of course, you all know. Lemoncello, but honestly, here you go, Lemoncello really isn't a Sicilian thing, although they make it in Sicily. It's usually a originally from Naples. It's a Neapolitan thing. But then again, Naples was one time <laughs> by the kingdom of the two Sicilies. Not only is there this flavor, there's a, as they say, a, a plethora of different Esta? flavors. Who's Esta? Esta. Bunsta. <laughs> <laughs> There's a plethora of different flavors that you can have, but the limoncello uh, is very good. And by the way, how do I like it? I make a martini with it. Ooh. Yep. I like vodka it over, I like it over gelato. Yeah, she likes it over gelato. Vodka and uh, limoncello is terrific, but there's a million different types of this stuff. There you go. That's two. Thank you very much. Of course, my favorite after dinner, grappa. All right. Now, this particular grappa, as you can see, it's see-through. It's uh, made from the Chardonnay grape. Typically, the grappa that you'll see in the States is brown. This is much cleaner and uh, very, very easy to drink. And it comes in all sorts of decorative uh, bottles Look like how this over here. This is. Can you Our see friend the Francesco gave us that particular in there? one. Yep, it's great. And uh, you don't put ice in this. I mean, if you put ice in this, you should be deported. And once again, you want to just use a small glass, not a big glass. And you know what? I was told you should not have this after a fish meal. Ah, okay. No grappa I never after... do. There are other flavors of Amato. This one over here is a newer one that's come out into the market. It's an orange bitter from Etna. flavor from Etna that's pretty good, I guess. Do you like Very this? Very good. Okay. I prefer this one over the... Matter. Oh, you're kidding me. Mm -hmm. And then you have all this funky stuff that I'm really not into, but I guess go crazy. This one over here is an espresso uh, liqueur. There's Ex also chocolate liqueur. There's also a chocolate. Pistachio liqueur. Pistachio liqueur. Cinnamon liqueur. You can get all liquored up here. <laughs> Figo India liqueur. I mean, you could have a whole bunch. And don't forget, when you drink your brandy, like I do, or you drink your <laughs> cognac, like I do, always have a nice glass. You see this glass? And I you know what Alfred taught me? Years. The three, three fingers, finger rule. Three fingers, that's it. One. If you have three, you're going to get, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh but anyways, ooh, ooh. You can, <laughs> if you drink responsibly, and that's the whole key, isn't it? Drinking responsibly, you'll, be, you'll have an enjoyable time. What do you have there, buddy? Okay, now for this portion of our show and tell... <laughs> We have the Testa de Mori, the Moorhead. I'm sure you guys have seen these, right? Sometimes the man comes in a little bit of a darker color, but like everything here in Sicily, it's all about the myths and legends. And this one dates back to year 1000, around the year 1000 when the Arabs were here in Sicily. And in the old uh, Arab quarter of Palermo, there lived a beautiful lady. She was so sweet. She loved to garden, especially in her balcony. Is that her? We'll say this is her, okay, for our her. sake. What's her name? Melba? No, um, I'm kidding. It's a joke. Molly. Molly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, every day when she was tending to her balcony, a beautiful moor man used to walk by, and guess what? They fell in love. Ah, but before, which is today, by the way, Libya. Modern day Libya, North Africa, the Moors. We're the Moors. About. Okay. So they fell in love, but before you knew it, 
she found out that he had a family back in Africa, a wife and children. Wouldn't you know <gasps> it? Wouldn't you and know he it? had to go back to his family, but she didn't want him to leave. What did she do? So, in the middle of the night, while he was deep in sleep, off with his head. Cut his head off. And immediately, without hesitation, she ran out and put it in her balcony in one of the planters. And after a long period, beautiful vegetation grew. And she became the envy of all of her neighbors and all of Sicilians. And now you can see these planters that are for sale. This one is from Caltagirone. Remember, I was there a few weeks Great ago and place. I picked yeah. this one out. But generally, people have it in their balcony or, you know, we're adding this to our slew of uh, ceramic decorations that we're correct collecting, right, Al? These are so expensive, too. If you see something that says PRC, People's Republic of China, do not buy it. Make sure Make sure it's signed. It's signed, okay? You could spend on the small ones like this. These cost maybe 60 or $70, but you can get the big size ones and the planters that will last forever. Those can be maybe 100 or 200 Right. All, all this, most of the ceramics that you see that, that are quintessentially Sicilian, have a backstory to them. And Tessa de Moro has been going on forever. We have small ones because we keep it in our little um, our little living room, so to speak, I guess you can call it, huh? And we really like when people say, hey, who are those? And, you know, we don't put it's anything in it. It's a great story, huh? We maybe we'll put like a, a, a flower or something, but... <laughs> They're great decorations. No knives. <laughs> All right, so did you enjoy this video? Did you learn something new? If so, leave us a comment below. And also check out our website, www.youmeetandsicily.com. All the information is there about all our videos, all our tours. What else, Al? You forgot our Facebook page. Okay, this time I really did. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, me, and Sicily on Facebook. Go to Facebook. We have, how many how many fans do we have there now, Bunny? We've got a few thousand. All right. Almost hope you enjoyed it. 5,000 fans. Okay. okay. Subscribe to this channel as well. Ciao. Thanks for watching. Agure. Ciao.